Hi, I'm Anna Flores, and this is a Tall Grass Prairie. Natural tall grass prairies are composed of a beautiful array of wildflowers and grasses and meadows that span the Midwestern and Western United States. It is an important habitat for plants and wildlife alike. Illinois has lost most of its natural prairies. Less than 1% of the historical prairie remains and the patches left are fragmented. By restoring the prairies, we are attempting to mitigate the damage caused by urban development and agriculture. One way to do that is by planting native species that will establish and grow, helping the populations of wildflowers and grasses rebound. Most land managers aim for obtaining seeds from areas close to the site being restored. However, all species may not be available, and there's concern that the local species may not be well adapted to rapidly changing climatic conditions, which bring extreme events such as early spring frost. Early spring frosts can be detrimental to seedlings if they're maladapted to the climate at the restoration site. To test this, we use one representative prairie species and put it through a simulated frost event. Our objective was to determine the frost tolerance of seedlings deferred by regional source. First, we had to germinate the seeds. We checked for new germinants every other day, after which we planted them. I do mean every other day. Sometimes it was easy. Other times, not so much. We were mainly looking for differences among the three sources. We also checked for generational differences between parent and offspring, and differences between two developmental stages, first leaves and cotyledons. Seedlings were put through a six hour frost simulation in temperatures that reached negative 3.3 degrees Celsius in one test. Damage was determined by looking for discoloration and wilting Seedlings were categorized as either survived the frost, damaged, or killed by the frost. Initial observations showed noticeable effects on some of the seedlings. Notably, local source had the highest mortality. So the local is best policy for seed provenance may not always be the case for every species and situation. Studies like this one are necessary in greater scale in order to better understand how increasingly unpredictable climate will affect our ability to successfully restore lost habitat. <laughs>